Good morning and welcome to the Weekend Weird Files. We finally made it to the weekend and I mean finally. It seems like it's been the longest week. And that's Scout. She says hello. Um, and God, what a shit show this week has been now. I'm not sure how things are in your world, but in mine, this week was a train wreck to say the least. Our cat Scout, we got her spayed like a week or so ago. Well, she's a hyper little cat, and she plays 24-7. She never walks. She runs. And in the process of her playing and shenanigans, she busted a stitch open, and it was kind of gross. So we had to go back to the vet, and they had to keep her overnight. Well, for some reason, like I guess maybe all the dogs that were there that were barking and just being in a different place overnight, you know, I guess it just kind of traumatized her. Now, she's better from being traumatized, but now she's on some antibiotics for a few days. Um, there's an antibiotic ointment that we had to put on that wound, and she's got to wear the cone of shame, and that's the part she hates the most. Now, that little wound, the boo-boo, I guess you could say, is looking a lot better. So, you know, she's on the mend. Now, as for myself, I've had a sore throat and bronchitis. Nick has the bronchitis. And then mom had an accident on Thursday afternoon that I mentioned last night on the weekend, not the weekend weird files, but the, um, what the Friday, gosh, see how scrambled my brains are right now. But I thought I'd give y'all a little update on her before we get started with today's episode. So she's still in Richland hospital. And as of right now, she hasn't been moved into a regular patient room because the hospital is just so full from like so many COVID patients and just other patients, you know, with different illnesses. Now she is in a a small room, I guess kind of like a triage or treatment room, whatever, you know, and in the ER, like in the trauma section of the ER. But up until about three o'clock on Friday morning, she was on a gurney parked right in front of the nurse's station. Um, she hated that. She said it was so noisy. You couldn't sleep. But then, um, Thursday before they took her to the other hospital at that smaller hospital, they did a CT of her scan, um, of her scan, of her head. And it showed that she had this, um, subarachnoid hemorrhage, which is a bleed on the brain. And that's why she was transferred to that other hospital. Um, and that other hospital that she's in now, it does have a trauma uh unit so not trauma but neurological unit y'all i tell you what my brains i can't i don't know if i'm going or coming but anyway now i'm not sure if i mentioned that part about the um the the hemorrhage or anything now um when they got her there at midnight they did another ct and it showed that that bleed is still there But it hasn't gotten worse. So that's good news. Now, today I stayed with her for the better part of the day. Not today, but yesterday. And she was in good spirits. And at that time, you know, they were saying that she would probably get to come home either Friday night or this morning. But after I left, about 730, her doctor called me and um, told me that they did a speech assessment. And they weren't really happy with the results because... When they'd asked her questions, she'd fall asleep in the middle of trying to answer them. And they don't like seeing that with somebody that's had a head wound. Um, or a head injury, I guess you sh- I should say. But, so they're going to keep her. And um, at least through today, she may get to come home today. But they're going to retest her. And hopefully, you know, she tests a lot better. But anyway, um, let's go ahead and get started with today's episode. Triple M Studios presents The Weekend the Weird Falls. Here's your host, Andrea, 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 Andrea. So this is a bit of a different story, and it's definitely weird. So, on October 15th of this year, a court ruled that a group of more than 80 hippos in Colombia, South America, are legally considered to be people. I know you're probably saying, say what? So, the U.S. District Court for the Southern District of Ohio 
for the first time in history, recognized Pablo Escobar's famous cocaine hippie. Ah. <laughs> cocaine hippos, not cocaine hippies. Cocaine hippos as legal persons. Now, on the same day as that ruling, the Animal Legal Defense Fund had applied on the behalf of those hippos to stop the Colombian government from killing the animals. Now, the hippos in question are descendants of four hippos that Escobar illegally imported into the country, and then they were set free when Escobar died in 1993. Well, since being set free, those four have multiplied into about 80, give or take, hippos, and the government in Colombia says that they're destroying the ecosystem in that area that is local to where the, the hippos are living. But now some scientists are arguing that the situation is quite the opposite of that because it's possible that the hippos are restoring ecological functions that have been lost for centuries due to urban development. Well, back in July, a Colombian attorney named Luis Domingo Gomez Maldonado filed a loose lawsuit. Y'all might want to just turn me off now because I can't talk. But he filed a lawsuit to save the animals. And he is saying that sterilizing the hippos would be a lot better of an option than killing the hippos. And I have to agree because I'm sorry. I just think hippos are cute. And um, yeah, I'm sure they can cause some damage. And they, you know, they are big animals. But anyway, they're part of like our circle of life i mean like they're part of the ecosystem so you know we need the hippos but a news release from the aldf says that testimony from wildlife experts elizabeth berkeley and richard berlinski supports the use of a contraceptive called pzp because it's more appropriate for hippos than other methods and i didn't even know they had contraceptives for hippo so i learned something new with this but more research is being done on this and in the meantime the aldf is keeping an eye on the hippos to make sure they aren't killed now i haven't been able to up like locate anything that gives like a time frame for when they expect to sterilize the hippos but when there is an update i'll let y'all know now i know that was short and sweet but that's all i have for today um i'm gonna go see my mama and y'all have a good weekend and don't forget to come back on monday for an all-new episode of mystery murder and magic look it's james